Okay. So I would like to call to order the September meeting of the Human Resources Board. Present are Diane Doyle, John Ferrar, Anthony Antico, Lynn Peabody. Thank you all for coming. Uh, next on the agenda is the approval of the prior minutes, which I had forwarded to you all. Take a minute to review those. Any discussion or comments or questions on the minutes? No. No. Nope. Hearing none, I will take a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great, thank you. Uh, absent, I'm sorry, I meant to mention absent is Mark Bluckman Chair and Patty Fisher. Um, next on the agenda is employee issues. Uh, nothing has been brought to my attention and Patty, uh, when I checked in with her, also had nothing to report. Uh, number four on the agenda is personnel actions and job vacancies. So uh, we have had a resignation of the assistant town administrator position. Uh, he resigned a couple of weeks ago. His last day was Thursday. Um, he is moving on to a position with the state. Uh, big disappointment and, and tough, tough loss, you know, since we brought him on and started to train. So that has now been posted. Um, the assistant town planner position that's been open is close to being filled. We have an offer out to a candidate for that. We have filled the library technician youth services librarian. Um, I think at the last meeting we've sort of indicated there's been a shift of personnel with the um, the resignation of the assistant library director and everybody's sort of been moving up uh, at the library. So we have a youth services position that's been filled and the candidate will be starting October 3rd. It's a part-time position, 13 hours a week, assisting in the youth services division of the library. And we have hired a full-time firefighter that's filling the position of a resignation that took place, I think, three weeks ago of one of our full-time firefighters. He, uh, the person that re resigned, um, had come on board and lived in Gloucester and uh, has since taken a position with the Gloucester Fire Department full-time. Um, so I think, you know, driven by his family being down in Gloucester. Um, so we have hired someone to fill that position. <coughs> I believe the, so in addition to the assistant town administrator position uh, and the few positions that we're constantly looking for at the police department, I think, I think that's it. Any questions or comments? No. Do we have, um, you said that the assistant town administrator position is posted, do we have any candidates? Uh, not that I know of, it was posted, I believe, last week. He resigned uh, two weeks ago, and his last day was Thursday. Okay. So I know it's been posted. I don't know if she received any candidates. I think potentially looking back at the candidates that were available okay. when she filled the position the first time, looking to see if maybe there's some opportunity there. Okay. Um, um, next on the agenda is workplace ethics discrimination issues. I'm not aware of any. Mark, I talked with him earlier today, did not indicate anything uh, there. Um, next would be safety issues. We haven't had any changes in COVID protocols or any safety issues that I've, I'm aware of and nothing that Patty's brought to my attention. Other business. Uh, so I did have the opportunity to check in with Tracy as well as Mark. And um, so as an update, I wasn't at the last meeting, but I did watch the watch the um, the meeting and, and obviously uh, prepare the minutes. But um, Tracy, after the meeting, had gone out to three separate companies um, for a quote. Um, given the dollar value of the project, um, we don't need a formal bid process. So she reached out to three known companies that um, do this type of work. 
and um, after receiving the quotes, she uh, felt strongly that the first one was the company that really um, she's, she's planning to go with um, based mm -hmm. on um, experience and the, the, the quote and so forth. So she's in the midst of preparing the contract and um, feels strongly that, that that's the company that we're gonna go with. Um, so she's in the midst of preparing the contract, and then um, next steps would be to invite the representatives from the company in to meet with us and kind of go over the overview of the, of the project and answer any questions that we might have. So I don't know if that would be at the next meeting. I think looking back when you've met the last time that that was anticipated towards late October um, time frame. So possibly at the next meeting we would have a representative from the company in to review the the project I'm not going to be here for the next meeting okay so um, what would that be watching the video or something um, I know I think she just indicated that if, if we wanted them to come in and kind of go over the scope of service and yep, certainly review all of that so yep. if you know looking ahead I'm not sure if there will be others that won't be able to we could always look to reschedule or um, Based on their availability, maybe it wouldn't even be at a Monday night meeting. It would maybe be at something else. But that's the next step in the process. Is what okay. I hate to delay any part of this project, but I certainly would be interested um, to hear the presentation. Okay. Yeah. So that is an update on the um, compensation study at this point. Mm -hmm. Any questions? <laughs> Cruise along. Yeah, I talked about 415, and then Mark Mark said, "Well, if we have an update on the compensation study, you know, maybe there'd be a discussion around it." So, um, can so we call in um, one of these folks earlier? Well, Haley might. Um, <coughs> you know, Haley may be here earlier. Um, you know where it's posted for 430. I don't know. I originally suggested 415, but um, we'll see. Um, so any questions, discussions around the next step in the process? And so H, I believe it's HRS uh, is the company, that first company that she's gonna go with. Is that um, the one that has already given us um, kind of a, a proposal, but you know, it wasn't a formal proposal? Right. That was the company? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, the okay. other two she felt were, she just felt strongly that this was the one that made sense. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, any other new business? Nope. Okay. Uh, there was a question that you brought up at the last meeting, and when I watched it back, um, you would ask Tracy about the town's um, decision on the PFLMLA PFML Massachusetts paid yeah. family leave. And um, I think she, I, I just wanted to clarify that we did, in fact, the town did, in fact, um, opt out of that. There was, okay. a, there was an option for, yes, yeah. yeah, so we, we back, uh, when that first came out, we did make it the selection of the option um, to opt out of it. Was that so I just wanted 20, to 20 or, no, it would have been probably a year or two years prior, because that's when you, um, companies would have had, employees would have had to start putting money into the fund. Yes. So, so I just wanted to clarify that we did decide and made the made the decision to opt out of that at the time. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to clarify that when I read it back, there was some ambiguity around the answer. So. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so next meeting um, is October twenty eighth. Lynn, you said you won't be able to be here. Nope. Uh, Tony, Anthony. There's a good I'm chance. Fine. Good chance I will not be here as well. I'll be in San Francisco, but that's. That's only one element. Uh, the, the second element is uh, that, that's waiting on an event, so okay. it's not locked in stone yet. Okay. So Lynn and possibly John. If I get pushed to November, then I'll be here the 28th. Okay. Uh, okay to ask a question about the resignation of our assistant? Sure. I don't know if I can answer it, but I will give any, it a shot. Any did any exit strategy or any exit interview to say what happened? Or? Um, so I know Tracy had a conversation. He submitted his resignation. Um, he had been approached by someone that wanted him to take a position with the state okay. and felt for his family. Um, I think it was a work from home uh, position and made the decision. And submitted a letter and was sad to have left, but um, felt strongly that it was a position he couldn't pass up. 
Mm -hmm. there, there was quite a search just to get his position locked down and right. it seems awfully, awfully fast to turn around. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. So I don't know exactly the position, but I know it is with the state and he had been courted by someone that knew him and he said, you know, I hadn't been actively looking. It was just something that kind of came at him and he really couldn't pass it up. It happens. Yeah, it is unfortunate because, you know, I think he, he was well liked and moving along. And he was very confident. Yeah. Very interesting to chat with. Yep. Any other discussion? No. Okay. I will take a motion to close the regular meeting. I'll make the motion to close okay. the regular meeting. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> All right.